Hello everybody. I was just about to make an editor utility widget uh, so I can tell distances between different points in my game. And I decided, you know what, maybe other people don't know how to do it. So I thought I'd make a tutorial and show you how to do it. Um, I've already made one, one editor utility widget here. Uh, it makes handholds uh, in the editor without construction script or at, you know, it doesn't do it at begin play. Um, it just does it based on the size of the plane. And you just locate it somewhere. Let's do Y size. Goes out here and generate handholds. Then it makes them in the editor without having to play the game. And each of these construction script could do this, but you can't you can't grab things and edit them in the construction script. But this is a one-off. It just makes, it does the stuff you want to do. I don't know how to explain it, but <laughs> construction script, if you select one of these, it selects them all. And you can't do anything with any of them. And yeah, you wouldn't want to do it at begin play. I want to, I want to edit my handholds. It's for like mountain climbing, you know, if you want to make a route. Uh, yeah, I wanted to check distance. When I start putting tons of landscapes out and I put a a landmark, I want to know how far it is from other landmarks. That way I know, you know, the walking distance and I can figure out how much game time, gameplay time it's going to take for somebody to get there. So let's just make, let's just make some distance markers. And an editor utility widget will make this as well. I'll make it. I could put it in this one, and I probably will later. But I'll make a fresh one. That way, you'll know how to do it. So editor utilities. I usually make yeah a folder for that. You'll have to turn it on. It's made by Epic Games, but they don't have it turned on by default. You'd have to go to plugins, and then you type in editor. No, utility. Let's try utility. Yeah. Or blue. Is it blue for blue utility? Blue. Editor scripting utilities. That's what it is. Editor scripting utilities. You want to turn that on and then it'll say restart. You want to restart. Once you do that, then you can click and then you'll have editor utilities right here. We're going to make a editor utility widget. Editor utility blueprint allows you to right click things up here and you'll have option. You can create options in here. I haven't done that a lot. I just make widgets so I can have buttons to click and do things. So we're going to do an editor utility widget and we'll say, we'll call it distance. Maybe distance utility widget. And then we're going to need a distance actor. Make a blueprint actor. We'll say distance marker BP. And you'll need two of them in the world. So you can just drag out a couple. And then they'll just be in your in your world forever. They're right here. Uh, select them both. Oh. 
select them both and we can make a new folder called distance markers okay yeah then we need to open open that widget and actually you can well, let's save everything you can right click and you can run it and here it is already this is our it's just like the details tab world settings content browser it's you have your own your own window whatever code you put in here that's what it will that's what it will do I know we'll drag it over and dock it in here so anything we make in our widget and you make the widget just like you make you know your your main UI or your inventory and you make the widget the same way so you can come into here uh, we can say desired now when we start putting things in here this will ex this will expand out depending on what we put in uh, a good thing to start with is a vertical box and then everything we put in here you can put in like horizontal boxes um, and we're gonna need to we're gonna need to say what we're gonna get we're gonna gen uh, get distance that's just text Let's put it let's put a horizontal box in there. Horizontal is good. Inside the vertical. And then text. We want that to say get distance or something something like that. Now if we save and compile out here I mean it's already here so anything we're doing in this widget shows up very cool very cool I'm gonna make that text a little bit smaller uh, 16 I don't know yeah that's fine get distance I'll make that a I'll make that a button yeah I'll make that a button instead. Put that in the horizontal box and then put the text in the button. Nice. We'll make that text a little darker. Cool. And in that horizontal box, we want more text. That's going to be the actual distance. We're going to bind that. And then we want it to be kilometers. In the game, it does centimeters, so we want kilometers. So we're going to put text after that as well. And that's going to be km. I want that to be vertically aligned text. Vertically aligned. The text inside the button. Vertically aligned. Oh, and I want to, let's see, we did 16. Let's copy that. For that text, paste this text, paste, save, compile. Okay, I'll put a space in there. I think that'll work. Yeah, let's put a space in. Maybe I'll put a space there. Two, and then we'll get to the code. Oh, that won't really work, will it? 
That's fine. So when we click the button, let's really just rename that. Maybe the get distance button. So when we click, actually, you know what? Let's let's bind this. Create a binding. And what we want is get all actors of class. No. We're going to feed a variable in here. We're going to make a variable called distance. I think it's going to be a flow. Let's just make it a vector for now. I can't remember. It might be a float. I think it's a float. But um, let's take this and get rid of it. Let's do that out here on the event graph. And when we click the button, On clicked, we're gonna get all actors of class. The actors we want is the distance actor we made, distance marker. So it'll get both of them. We'll do a for each loop. Switch on int. So when this is zero, this will happen. And when this is one, this will happen. We only have two in the world. So only that and that will happen. And then on completed, we'll get the distance between them. So we want distance one or variable. That's going to be marker one. Marker one. Look. Location. And then this could be marker to location. So I'm gonna I'm gonna set this one up here. With a get actor location. the other one we'll put its location into that and then upon completion okay now we need to take this location and this location we need to subtract them from each other vector minus vector Vector length. And then we will set this. Yeah, this had to be a float. <laughs> so we'll do a set on this. Yeah. And then here, 
think we'll change the name of that function to distance. distance I don't know but yeah distance needs to come here and then we're going to display that on the number save compile and then I think we're almost done if I fly over here like if I want to know the size of this landscape I should be able to right click snap object to where I am and it's right there and then if I fly over the other edge or a second location that, that I would like to know bring the other one over here snap object to view and then hit get distance 50 that oh I didn't I didn't do my conversion <clears throat> I'm going to do a little math. It's just a hundred. Uh, that is in here. I'm going to do this divided by 100. Oh, I always do that. Always. If you do that as well, put that in the comments below. <laughs> I always do. Divided by 100. And that should give me kilometers because it's centimeters in the engine. Save, save. Now get distance. That says 500 kilometers. There's no way. It's not. I'm an idiot. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, centimeters. Divided by 100 is meters, not kilometers. You have to go another. You have to go another step. Okay, now get distance. Half a kilometer. That's probably that's a little more accurate. <laughs> yeah. So there you go. That's how you do that. I hope that helps you make your game. Uh, thanks for watching. And uh, see you next time.